Inside TubeBuddy are a suite of tools that will help you understand your audience. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use TubeBuddy's audience understanding tools to discover what makes your audience click, watch, and subscribe, spot the trends, breakout videos, and strategies that work for similar creators, and how to use those insights to create videos your viewers will love. Now, the audience understanding tools are located inside the TubeBuddy sidebar. To get to them, just click the TubeBuddy logo on the right side of your screen. This will open up the Niche Insights panel where you'll discover everything that you need to understand your audience at a deeper level, like which kind of videos are trending and how other creators in your space are performing. But when you first open Niche Insights, the screen will be empty. This is because the tool needs channels to analyze in order to provide personalized insights about your niche. Adding channels allows TubeBuddy to understand your niche better and offer recommendations tailored to you. So to get started, click the Manage Niche button right here. This will take you to a screen where you can add or remove channels. TubeBuddy provides a list of recommended channels based on your YouTube activity to help you get started. To add a channel from this list, simply click the green Add button next to the channel name. If a channel doesn't fit your niche, you can just remove it by clicking the red X button. Now you really should take your time here because choosing the channels that best reflect your niche will help you get the most meaningful and accurate insights. You can also add channels manually by visiting a creator's channel. While on their channel page or while watching one of their videos, open the TubeBuddy sidebar and select the Add Channel to Niche option. It's a good idea to start with at least six channels. But as you discover more channels that align with your niche, keep adding them. The more channels you include, the stronger the insights will become over time. To get started, I added a mix of established creators and emerging creators along with a few of my personal favorites that align with my niche. Once you've added channels to your niche, you'll immediately start seeing some high level stats for each of them. The total number of views they've gotten in the last 30 days, how many videos they've published recently, and lifetime views and uploads. The real power, however, comes from when you move from Manage Niche back to the Niche Insight section. Now that you populated your niche with creators, you will start to unlock the insights that we talked about earlier. The first thing you'll see is the Niche Leaderboard, which shows you how the channels you've added to your niche are performing. By default, it's set to current view count, but you can click this dropdown to explore other metrics like views in the last 30 days, growth rates, or subscribers gained. This leaderboard not only gives you a snapshot of how channels in your niche are doing, but also shows where your channel ranks among them. It's a great way to see how your channel compares and to identify creators you might want to study more closely. To the right is the content standout section. This area highlights videos in your niche that are considered outliers. Those that perform significantly better or worse than a channel's average. This tool helps you understand what your audience loves watching most and what they're less interested in. And as you'll see here in just a second, this area is great for sourcing video ideas that get your channel more views, subscribers, and engagement. When you hover over a video result, you'll see additional details like how much better or worse the video performed compared to the channel's average and the number of extra views it gained or missed compared to the channel's typical performance. Now, here is how you can use these insights. First, find content that works. Outliers highlight the topics and formats your audience loves. Use them as inspiration for your own videos. For example, this video of ours performed 46 times better than usual. That success wasn't random. It was inspired by similar outliers from other channels in our niche. Next, build on your own success. If one of your videos show up as a content standout, use it as a blueprint. For example, we noticed that this Q&A video we did with a former YouTube employee was a big hit. So we took that video and turned it into an entire series. And that helped our channel grow consistently. Next, learn from other creators. Think of this like watching and picking up what others are doing to succeed. Find top creators or videos and pay attention to how they tell stories, present ideas, 
or connect with their audience. The more you observe, the better you'll understand what works and why it works. It's not about copying. It's about learning what works and adapting those techniques to fit your own style and audience. And finally, you should use these insights to find out what content doesn't work. Videos that fall flat can teach you what to avoid, helping you focus your effort on ideas that get more views, subscribers, and positive reactions from your audience. Up until now, everything that we discussed is like looking at your niche from space, taking in the entire galaxy and seeing how all the creators and trends fit together as part of a larger ecosystem. In addition to these tools that allow you to understand your audience at a broad level, Channel Insights allows you to zoom in and examine creators up close. Think about this like going from the entire universe to focusing on a specific planet to study its details in depth. When you're on a specific channel or video and open the TubeBuddy sidebar, you'll see channel insights in addition to the niche insights and manage niche option on the right hand side. This tool lets you drill into one channel at a time to understand key details. Here you'll see growth rates. See how quickly a channel is growing by analyzing their view and subscriber growth rates. This includes comparisons to your channel and the average growth rate in your niche, as well as this visual slider that shows where everyone ranks. Next is their content calendar. Here you'll discover how often and what that channel is posting. The calendar highlights their upload patterns and clicking on a green published date reveals the content that was published that day. This can give you insights into their consistency and help you understand the best cadence and times to post for more engagement. When you click on a specific piece of content from the calendar, you can access the video directly. This allows you to analyze it further, review the comments, and see how it's performing. What's great about Channel Insights is that you don't have to add a channel to your niche to see this data. This is great for going beyond your niche and observing what channels broadly are doing on YouTube. All right, so let's bring all of this together. These tools let you take a space view of your niche, giving you a broad perspective to see which creators are winning, what kind of content is performing well, and inspiring you to generate ideas for your next best video. Or you can zoom in to explore specific creators like planets, drilling into their individual growth, posting schedules, and what they're publishing. Using all of these tools helps you understand what your viewers want, what they have an appetite for, and the things that they don't like very much, helping you make better content that ultimately helps your channel grow.